I decided to finish this thruster by adding a core nozzle to it. Uh, please follow along. If you have any questions, let me know. First thing we're going to do is find the most out, the outermost edge of the blades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut, turn off some of these blades, leaving only that one right there. Perfect. So next thing I'm going to do is create a line straight from the center. Try to get it as close to the edge as you can, just like that. Finish sketch, create a new plane along the path. Select the circle and try to get it right on the line there. Perfect. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the plane and we can even just delete this line because we don't need it anymore. Next thing we're going to do is create a spline. Fit point spline. Click on the plane that you've just created and start creating your foil. Try to get as close to the blade as you can. Good. Next thing we're going to do is a sweep. Select your path. And there it is. Foil. Turn all these bodies back on. And we'll attach the core nozzle to the foil. Sorry, no, the core nozzle to the attachment. So next thing we're going to do is create another plane. I'm going to do an offset plane this time. I'm going to offset it right here. Straight to the body there. Create a rectangle. Turn our snap on. Excellent. Create another offset plane. This time we'll move it a little bit further out past the core nozzle. We'll look at the plane and we will create another rectangle. Make this one on the court nozzle. Okay. 
next thing we'll do is we will extrude this square to an object which is body 2 I made a mistake there instead of joining I should have created a new body so we'll redo that press pull distance to, to object body new, not new component but new body Next thing we'll do is shorten it. Good. Now we'll create a oops. Create a lock. Curvature. Excellent. And again, you can fillet these. Um, I think I just, uh, I think I made another mistake. I, I need to create a new body for that as well. So, right here, instead of join, create a new body. And you can flay these and make them more hydrodynamic, more nicer in general, better looking. Um, let's make a pattern. Circular pattern. Select the axis. Right there. I pick two. That's it. There's the shroud or the foil. You can see it's very close, very close tolerances to limited turbulence. Okay, we can render it. Make it any color you like, or any sort of finish you like. Cool. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Have a great night.